Scott from Smart Kits Australia and you can see we're building an insulated skillion roof here along this fascia line at this house and you can see we've lifted up the roof sheet there and we are currently installing fascia brackets. With this house you'll see that there are solar panels on the metal roof. With some houses we can, uh, un we can pull the solar panels out of the way to put the roof brackets in. Uh, just have a look at your solar panels and see whether they can unscrew easily or plug in easily. If that, that might be the best way to, uh, to pull the solar panels out of the way to open the roof sheets up to be able to put the fascia brackets in behind the fascia. If you can't do that, then there are vent caps you can get from Bunnings that can go in the eave, the underside lining, the underside lining there, the eave of the house and put the bracket in there. And you can see here that Mick is up the ladder and uh, he's installing that bracket behind the fascia. And when we look at a roof that's going to be fascia attached, it means it's coming from the gutter line, the fascia and gutter line of the house that's projecting out from that point. And in order to make that fascia stronger, we need to uh, put these brackets in behind the fascia. And the brackets themselves are an L-shaped piece of aluminium bracket. You can see that with this bracket, and we'll flip it around in a second, that uh, we have put three holes in that bracket. They are five mil holes. And those holes are to make screwing the, uh, the tech screws, the timber fixing tech screws that we use into the side of the timber rafter or truss uh, simpler. It's easier to uh, fit those screws through when there's a hole there already. And uh, we'll just turn this around so that you can see what this bracket looks like. You'll see that it's L-shaped. And you can see how we've put the three holes in there. And three timber tech screws which are in your kit will fit through those three holes. And then the bracket itself is fitted behind the fascia and into the side of the rafter. So we've just lifted up a roof sheet there. You can see Miko's hand there inside the gutter. And you can just look behind that fascia. You can see that bracket positioned against the timber rafter or truss that sits behind your metal fascia. Now metal fascias are not structural, so we need to reinforce them. We need to make them stronger. Now depending on where your roof is located, where you are in the world or in Australia, it will determine how many brackets you require. This isn't an overly tricky job, but this is the first part of building your smart kit. And all of this, of course, is in aid of fitting this, which is the receiver channel. This is what your sheeting sits into on your fascia. Now with our, uh, our receiver channel, of course, the small lip goes at the bottom and the large lip goes at the top. Secret to success. And one of the things we get asked a lot is why isn't a fascia strong enough to support a patio? Well, these are some great photos that we took of a project uh, that we're working on recently. And uh, you can see the metal fascia on the end of the house rafter or trusses in the house roof, the timber frame, and how it's just using a little clip to sit on there. That metal fascia just clips straight on. And certainly over the years, we've seen dodgy operators out there and dodgy kit companies don't supply anything to reinforce that fascia or give you extra strength to hold the roof. And so you're relying on these tiny little clips just to hold everything up. And uh, if you get a strong wind, that will peel straight off the house. It'll, it'll go like a parachute. So not, no strength, no structural integrity in those clips or in those fascias, hence why we reinforce the fascia.